Hey guys, become your strength, release your limitless potential. Welcome to another video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to give you three tips or three steps that will help you to become more productive, okay? Uh, so let's just jump right into it. The first step that you have to go through in order to become more productive is all about changing your thoughts. So if you think that you are if that you aren't productive, if you think that you're lazy, if you think that you're just wasting your time in your everyday life, then it is very likely that this is going to happen. It is very likely that you're going to waste your time and that you're going to be lazy. But why is that? Isn't your actions and your thoughts two completely different things? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you, but um, your thoughts and your actions are actually going to get together like this, you know? So, um, in order for you to change your actions, in order, to, in order for you to become more productive, you also need to change your thoughts. And it's a very, um, it's one of the best ways of actually starting out. You have to start inside out, right? Um, and personally, I've been working on changing my own thoughts in order to change my own outlook on life. Um, and I've been doing this for many, many months now, so I have some experience with this. Uh, I've actually been working on basically making my life more positive and uh, I've been working on self-love, you know. Uh, and what I personally love to do in order to kind of reprogram my mind is to have one dominant thought right after I wake up and right before I go to bed. Um, and this thought is going to be filled with pos positivity, okay? So what you're going to do right after you wake up from this point on is to think that I am an incredibly productive person. And while you're saying this to yourself, while you're thinking this, you are going to feel it inside your body. You can also try to close your eyes and actually visualize it. This will make it even more powerful. Of course, you can also tell yourself or think for yourself other things while also fe feeling positive. You can think like, oh, I'm feeling so filled with love today. I feel like everything's great in my life. Everything's turning out all right. Everything is, I I'm, I'm basically spending my time in a much more effective and productive way. I'm becoming better for each day that, that goes. If you feed yourself with these positive thoughts, then it's going to have an impact on your life. And you will see this if you actually turn it into a habit. So that's the thing, turn this into a habit. Think positive thoughts right after you wake up and before you go to bed, okay? Make it into, an, into a habit. Step number two, change your actions. So I've been talking about how to make a plan in, um, I, I talked about that in one of my other videos, um, how it should be clear, concise, compelling, uh, consistent and committed, you know? That's how you make a very good plan. I can, uh, there, there's a video link, there's a link to the video up here somewhere so you can actually check it out if you want. But anyways, making a plan will have an enormous impact because if, if you actually sit down, uh, write down a plan, some notes on a piece of paper on what you're going to do uh, in order to become more effective and productive, then it is much, much more likely that you'll actually put things into work, you know. The thing here, the clue that you have to take with you is that you need to make a habit, right? First of all, you need to make the fundament. As I, as I told you, step number one, change your thoughts. Step number two, make a plan. When you change your thoughts and made a plan, then you have the fundaments, right? So yeah, there you have it, make a plan. Step number three, which is also one of the fundamentals for doing this, 
uh, is to do something completely random. Just do something. Do something that you've never ever done before. Maybe read a book that you've never read about a subject that, that you never ever heard about or that you don't know anything about. Go for a jog, run a mile, I don't know. Do something completely random that you usually don't do. Now this sounds very weird, right? <laughs> Tip number three is the craziest thing ever. Well, the reason why I want to do this is because you you kind of shock, you, you kind of shock yourself. And you're turning this day, this exact day here, into something special. Something that you'll remember. So whenever you're thinking about pr productiveness in your everyday life, you're going to, this exact day is going to pop right up into your mind, right? And it's going to remind you of how engaged you were in, you were this day, <laughs> right? And it's going to make you engaged that day as well. It's going to keep you motivated. It's going to change your whole, your body's chemistry so that you actually become ready for, for this change. This may sound weird, but um, according to neuroscience, it's, it's actually a real thing. If you do something random, if you do something that is novel to you, something new, then you change your brain's chemistry and you will be more open for something new, something positive, a change, some type of change, right? And that is exactly what you want. You want to change from being maybe a less of an effective person, maybe even a lazy person, into a productive and effective person. That's what you want. You want to, you want to experience that change. Uh, so yeah, there you have the fundamentals for becoming more of a productive person. You have to work with these steps on a long-term basis in order to develop yourself into this, right? It takes a long time, okay? So here you have the recap. Step number one, change your thoughts. Step number two, um, actually take things into action by making a plan write down some notes on what you want to do. Uh, step number three, do something completely random so that you remember this day, so that you remember how engaged you actually were in changing your life. So that it becomes easier for you to actually do something. You're putting things into action right now and you're going to keep this momentum up, okay? You're going to build that momentum. Um, so yeah, I hope this video helped you. I hope these steps made sense to you. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video or any of my other videos. If you have any questions or requests, then feel free to make a comment in the comments below and I'll answer you there. I also hope that this video got you one step closer towards finding your limitless potential. I'll see you guys later, bye.